Honduras raises uh, for a lack of stable grains this year. Traders say the government is not providing support in the face of a possible drought. Our correspondent Gerardo Torres has more. A lack of government support means that Hondurans will be far short this year of the 350 million kilograms of beans that the country needs annually. A moderate climate will leave the country 50 million kilograms short. A drought similar to last year could leave the country 100 million kilos short. The problem is one of priorities and of food sovereignty. The government has bet on planting great areas of crops for exportation goods, for example, African palms. It has understimulated the production of grains we eat. Now we have to import beans, corn, rice, and all that we used to produce here. The lack of basic grains is producing high speculation in the local markets. It comes here cheap, but they sell it for 85 lempiras per pound, which means they make 35 lempiras for each pound. That is why people are not coming to the market, because prices are too high. The government has announced the creation of a new military force to try to control the speculation and moderate increases in the prices of basic grains. Some see this decision as wrong, that it will just worsen the problem of the militarization of Honduran society and won't resolve the real problem. Now the military is going to plant beans. Now they are so multifunctional that we apparently have to place them everywhere, even in hospitals, but they're always speculating, never planning nothing. This year, Hondurans will live in fear of getting access to beans and of the higher prices. The government, instead of looking for solutions, appears to be using this crisis to increase its military presence and budget. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.